at the age of 68. He has been treated in hospital for a severe infection. The musician was still recovering from a heart attack he'd had earlier this summer. David Salito has been looking back at his life and his career. I've got to where I wanted to go you know, to become a pop star or a rock star. To Quo fans, he was easy to spot. He was the bobbing blonde head, and he was responsible for some of rock's greatest riffs. 1972's Pile Driver was the beginning of a run of 40 hit albums, 57 top 40 singles. No other rock band comes close, and it all began at Butler's. Rick Parfitt met Francis Rossi when they were teenagers. Their first single was a bit of 60s psychedelia. But their passion was something a bit more raw, a hit-making rock formula. All our records do sound alike. Of course they do, because it's status quo. And I'm, you know, I'm not trying to get out of a corner here. They're going to sound like us, who are we supposed to sound like? Who would you get to open this thing? As soon as I had the idea, I couldn't think of anyone better. And when it came to sex, drugs and rock and roll, Rick Parfitt did it all. This riff arose as a consequence of a huge dose of amphetamines. I said, I just got this riff. I've just got this riff I want to do, and I'm not going to stay here. I don't need anybody here. I'll be all right on my own. Do, 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 do. So see you. See you. Good night, Rick. See you in the morning. Fine. So we come back about 11.30 the following morning, and Rick's on the stool. I said, you're early. He said, I ain't been home yet. He'd sat there nearly 12 hours. Going, do, 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 do from too much speed the previous day. He married three times. Of course he has a particular type of woman. Blondes. <laughs> and his health, even when he was recovering from heart surgery in hospital, he was still smoking and drinking. I was smoking in the hospital. And drinking. It was the rock and roll lifestyle. But when it came to turning rock into hit songs, he was one of the best. The guitarist Rick Parfitt, who's died at the age of 68.